Contemporary Urban Design Movements Contemporary Urban Design Movements and Their Rules and Principles Last century witnessed the emergence of a variety of urban design movements and their common purpose which was to save the city and its quality against the adverse impact of industrialization. It is obvious that the movements have the same roots in urban planning as in urban design and for the most recent ones, the implication for urban design is to be seen in the future. Each movement is based on certain rules and principles which will be reviewed briefly. Park Movement It was created as a response to the deteriorating conditions of American cities in 19th century. The movement was based on the revival of the relationship between man and nature. Frederick Olmsted founded the Park Movement in the United States. One of the fundamental principles of this movement was establishing parks in order to preserve the breathing spaces for the future of cities. The second important principle was an effort to connect city life with the life in nature. Organic forms and designs rather than geometrical shapes, natural green spaces and lakes were the dominant elements used under this movement. City Beautiful Movement Good of the old was the motto of the movement to produce unity and cohesion between the urban components and elements. Balance relationship between these elements is regarded as a beauty. City center is the dominant element of urban design and the core of physical and cultural aspects of the city. City movement's principles are urban design as a civic heart balance between urban elements to create a unified and cohesive unit. Garden city and new town movements. Ebenezer Howard proposed the landmark garden city concept in 1898. It includes the self-contained, self-sufficient communities surrounded by the green belts. Howard's vision influenced several generations of urban designers in Europe and United States, including many elements of contemporary new urbanism movement. At the macro scale, Garden City was based on two principles. One, to draw urban life into the existing cities. The second principle was decentralization. At the micro scale, Howard believed in two principles of unity and symmetry. Modernism Modernism principles were based on hygiene, justice, modern technology, building materials and techniques, speed, form efficiency and the ideas of form follows function, minimum aesthetics and avoiding decorative elements, ideal city, high density, master design, expressway, zoning, mass production and the standardizations. Team 10 movements was emerged due to the inadequacy of architectural and urban design ideas that were presented in the framework of legacy of modernism and also the dissatisfaction with the garden city idea. Each generation should be able to have the desired form for its own place. According to this movement, urban design should follow an organic process based on the main structure which includes public utilities and cluster city, hierarchy, twin phenomenon concepts. Postmodernism and Contextualism Ethics and change in meaning and concept of time and space and uncertainty towards future are the cornerstones of postmodernism movement. It may be regarded as post-Fordism and post-industrialism. It is a process oriented based on Deconstructivism, decentralization, discontinuity, difference and pluralism. It supports democratic forms, open and disjointed process, weak centers, traditional and new and collective identities. New urbanism. The last few decades have seen what must be one of the most dramatic reversals in urban design theory from modern urban order in the decades following the Second World War to a neo-traditional neo urbanism, which can be described as the philosophy and practice of recreating the best of traditional urbanism for today. 
This was perhaps the most significant movement in urban planning and design in recent decades because it constitutes a clearly identifiable movement with well defined aims and methods and principles set out in the charters of the new urbanism. New urbanism refers to a design oriented approach to planned development and may regard it as one of the movements of the practical movements. According to this movement, development should be based on compact pattern and a mix of different housing types and the mixed uses. Land uses should be distributed in a way to let people walk to the destination easily in a short time. New urbanism involves an urban form that stimulates neighborliness, community involvement, subjective feeling of integration with one's environment and the aesthetic satisfaction. As a theory, new urbanism is free of grand statements and obscure rational typicals of many urban design theories. As a movement, it focuses its practical and didactic providing simple, clear and hands-on directions and guidelines for the designers, planners and builders for making the towns. Sustainable Urban Design Sustainable development attempts to weave together multiple values to confront the challenges of reversing environmental degradation and reducing overconsumption and grinding poverty. These values are sometimes referred to as the three E's of sustainable development, environment, economy and equity. Sustainable development has implications at international, national, state, regional and local levels.